Today we are going to talk about the auto reclosure. Uh, for those of you who don't know much about auto, rec auto reclosures, the basic definition of auto reclosure, you can you can think of the auto reclosure as a, a switch gear or, or circuit breaker. So if you know about uh, circuit breaker, circuit breaker is nothing but a switch with an arc quenching mechanism. The auto reclosure is nothing but a circuit breaker with an automatic closing mechanism. So according to Wikipedia, uh, auto reclosure is a circuit breaker equi uh, equipped with a mechanism that can automatically close the circuit breaker after it has been opened due to a fault. So whenever there is a fault, uh, the circuit breaker opens the or isolates the that part of the circuit and the auto reclosure or the auto reclosing mechanism <clears throat> will automatically close the circuit breaker and restores the normal operation of the system. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, the auto reclosure is represented by the ANSI number 79. So if I say 79, it means the protection function auto reclose. Now we are gonna move to why do we need reclosure in your system? Well, first of all, when we talk about falls, not all falls are damaging the system or permanent falls. Some are transient falls. Uh, as you can see in this slide, um, almost 80% of the fall that occurs in our system are transient falls, which is only there for, or for a couple of cycles or a couple of seconds and then it disappears, like lightning or arc flash or something like that. So the first picture here shows there is a lightning on the transmission line. So that is gonna last for maybe a couple of seconds. So it is gonna, uh, it is gonna disappear after, after a couple of seconds. So that, that I can consider that as a transient fault. The second picture looks more uh, damaged. So this I can consider as a permanent fault, but in the system, uh, the third picture so shows you uh, a, a branch of a tree on a transmission line where the, the current is capable of uh, destroying or um, completely burn the uh, branch and then uh, after a while uh, maybe uh, maybe five or six or seven seconds later uh, your system uh, or the fault clears by itself so you don't have to do anything about it so that I could consider that as a semi-permanent fault the uh, some of the examples are animals or branches on the lines that constitutes about 13 percent of uh, Falls, uh, falls that occurs in our system, and only 7% of our falls are permanent, caused by storms or you name it. The final one right here, that is uh, a special kind of fault. I want to call that as uh, a YOLO fault, which is you, you only live once. So, uh, so those kinds of falls are permanent and uh, you need to clear those faults before you restore your system balance. And uh, that is one of the main reasons why you need a reclosure in case if the fault is not permanent, you want to, uh, you want to restore the system, uh, the generators again, or restore the stability of the grid again. Uh, other important need for the reclosure is to maintain the standards like SADES, AFI, and MAFI. What is SADI? Um, probably most of you already know about this. Uh, SADI is called the System Average Interruption Duration Index, and uh, that tells you uh, the average outage duration. It is uh, a ratio of some of all the customer interruptions duration divided by the number of customers served. So um, <clears throat> you want to keep this index uh, within the threshold because higher the uh, higher the index it, it means the interruptions are more in your system and uh, 
generally, uh, your customer satisfaction is very low when you have lots of interruptions in your system.